Chris Hollis, well, I look around us here at Salisbury, mate. I think last time we were here two years ago, I remember you spraying champagne, and it was, I think, the wettest day in the history of the sport. But uh, congratulations, you've just taken uh, the E2 title, your third uh, Australian off-road championship. Yeah, thanks, Wigan. It was uh, yeah, a good weekend, and um, yeah, had a, had a lot of fun out here. It was really dry and dusty compared to last time we were here two years ago. Like you said, it was, uh, you know, I think I remember looking up that hillside there, and there was this water running down there. It was ridiculous. So uh, things are turned around this time. It's just dust pretty much nearly rolling off the hills it's that, that dry and powdery so listen take us through it i think you you almost embarrassed the boys you won the first cross country of the year by about three minutes um the, you then had a you know you were really solid on the podium you had some really weird nerve damage i think sort of halfway through the season in you, you dnf and you kind of put yourself in a little bit of strife for the uh, title but uh, you've clawed your way back i, I did mate I, I did a did a bulge disc in my back and and it happened to be in one of the races and you know i, I couldn't finish so i lost a lot of points there but um you know it just show, goes to show that these kind of things can happen when you're racing and you know, I came into the year really prepared, really well, and you know, obviously that showed in the in the first few rounds. And you know, after the backing injury, it took it took a little bit of time to um, it, it did catch me by surprise. It, I thought I'd be back, you know, back to where I was straight away, but it actually took a, a fair bit of time to uh, you know come good. So and, and you know, Daniel rode really well, and um, you know, he deserves to win. He, he he rode pretty bulletproof. You know, he didn't go that well at the start of the year, but then the, the end of the year, he really closed in and was consistent and fast. So you know, he did really well. Yeah, how much will you think about the class versus the outride this year? Obviously, you won a couple of outride titles already. Could have been your third, which, and there's, uh, I think, AJ Roberts. You, well, I guess it was a cut for a couple of years there, but, you know, no one's effectively done it, I guess, since it no. became an official championship. So, uh, you know, re any re regrets there at all? No, no regrets, you know, like I, I can't really help what happened. Um, I was in a good position before that happened, you know, so it's just, it's just like I said, goes to show what can happen. But yeah, I, I'm here racing for outright, I don't want to win, so, you know, second, second's not really good enough, but, uh, you know, I'm still happy to be, you know, the second, the first, second loser, I guess, or first loser. <laughs> and uh, yeah, still, you know, not far off, so it's good. And look, mate, you got a two-year deal with uh, Brad Willscroft from the Motor X KDM team last year, which sort of yes. came in handy in a lot of ways because you had some un unforeseen injuries last year and, you know, a few bits and pieces and problems with the bike. But, you know, it's all sort of seems to have come good. You guys have had a bit of a seamless run in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's been really good this year. You know, the, the first year I got caught out a little bit uh, with bike setup. I sort of went around in circles a little bit. and But now I've got it dialed and things are going really good. And, you know, as long as I can stay fit and healthy, you know, for sure next year I'll be, I'll be up the front again as, as usual, you know, at the start of the year. And you're about to disappear over to Sardinia to uh, represent the country at the uh, at the six days, eh? Yeah, that's that's looking really forward to that now. We've got this finished out of the way. Um, I leave Tuesday week, so uh, me and Daniel are going to head over earlier and um, sort of just suss out the tracks a little bit more and get over jet lag a little a little bit, like, give a bit more time to recover and just learn learn the place. And um, yeah, it should should be good. It's we got a really good team this year, and um, you know things went really good last year for us. So uh, looking really forward to that, and and, and you know the bikes are going to be great, and you know it's in Sardinia. You know, it's a little island and on the Mediterranean Sea, so there's going to be a, a lot of little bars and and uh, beach and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be good. And you've got, as we understand, we've got no service out here at Dungog, but for the people that ducked back into town last night, we've uh, we know we've got a uh, Maddie Phillips, an Australia uh, yeah. world champion. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I was, you know, I woke up this morning, first thing I checked was was that, and uh, yeah, it's awesome for him to be a, a junior champion, and you know, he's he suits that style of riding over there so good, and um, you know, he's going to do bigger and better things next year for sure. Well, mate, uh, well done again here at the Off Road Championship. Great to see you do well again, and uh, you know, all the best flying the Aussie flag over in Sardinia.